Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back again today with another 7 trades. Today's date is November the 16th and I am using my new Pro Trader trading system. Now all the trades I took, they were sells around 7 a.m. this morning and I closed out all the trades uh, right around between close to 9 and around looks like 9.45 here. Most of them were futures except I did one um, forex pair here, the pound yen. So like I said, they're all sells. The market was going down today. It was very bearish. Now every morning at 6 o'clock, I'm in front of the computer looking at all the instruments and checking out my daily trade plan so we can certainly take a look at the daily trade plan this is a screenshot i took this morning around 6 30 in the morning just after six don't remember the exact time but it was close to 6 a.m took a screenshot so i could show you later on in the morning as i'm doing the videos so you can put this on pause and you'll see that the trades that I took uh, were bearish. No, the ones in the top up here were, were bullish, but I didn't trade any of those this morning. Now my goal every day I'm trading is 200 or more pips and uh, ticks. And looking at this today, I it's going to be over 300, that's for sure. We'll do a grand total towards later on in the video. Now, in combination with the Pro Trader, I put after I built the Pro Trader, I added on the Super Signal Indicator right here. This comes with this pop-up box, audio alerts, and these arrows, up and down arrows. And of course, once I get an audio alert, keep an eye on the uh, expert advisor for the daily trade plan. It's always better to be going in the direction of the trend as opposed to going against the trend. But as my mentor taught me many, many years ago, you can go both directions, but the maximum number of pips generally as a rule you'll get is going with the trend. So, now you know what you should have if you want to succeed at trading. Good system, such as my Pro Trader, and of course you need a daily trade plan, or you will fail at trading. So now we can get into these trades, starting with this um, Dow Jones wanted to be selling it. There's the arrow directly from the daily trade plan. Now what I did was I took the money, divided it by five, because that's what it pays, $5 for each tick. And the calculator says it should be 21. So got in at this cursor right here. And I closed it out just being happy at this point. Um, and at this point, it, there's the 21. Ticks times the $5 times the lot size paid out $1,050. Moving right along to the next trade, the pound yen. There's the arrow to remind me I wanted to be selling. Topped out here, 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 and here. And of course, eventually it went in the direction of the daily trade plan. Could have made a little bit more, but I was happy at the point that I closed out the trade. Looks like I closed out the trade with 44 pips. And those 44 pips paid out $3,232. Moving on to the next trade. This is the DAX 30. This one moves a lot. Pays quite well, to say the least. There's the arrow, I wanted to be selling it. 
This one pays three dollars and seventy-five cents for each uh, for each tick. So as you can see, very small move, paid out. Um, pretty good results. I taken the money and divided it by three dollars and seventy-five, as that's what it pays for each tick. And the calculator says it's ninety-five. It's going to be pretty much impossible to get it right on, but let's run a check on it. Oh, well, that's as close as I'm going to be able to show. Um, it is ninety-five. And if you times that by $3.75 times it 10 lots, that paid out $3,562. Okay, let's move on to the next trade, which is the Russell. This one pays $10 for each tick. I wanted to be selling it directly from the daily trade plan. Could have made a lot more, about four times more. And... Um, this is one of the main reasons why I, I don't trade just one instrument at a time because I used to do that and the problem is sometimes I would trade and it would be just moving mostly sideways, not much movement, sitting around for hours to make a few pips or lose even a few more pips. So once I try to do five, ten or more trades at a time, you know, I'm bound to hit some of them that are going to be moving. And on this particular day, it looks like the wrestle has really dropped. But looking at the money, it should be, as it pays $10 for each uh, tick, should be 47 So getting in here, now I could have received a, over 300 but I was happy at this point producing um, 47 you remove the last digit so it's 47 times the ten dollars times the lots paid out four thousand and seven hundred dollars moving on to the next trade the s p 500 this one pays five dollars for each tick so what i did was i took the money divided it by five calculator says it's 117 so let's see where I got in at. Could have made more, about 40% more actually. But I was happy at the point where I closed it out. Let's try that one more time. Mouse is acting funny. 100 and what did I say, 17? Well, not going to get it right on, but it is. 117 as you remove the last digit times the five dollars times the lots paid out five thousand eight hundred and seventy five dollars moving on to the next trade the crude oil another one that moved a lot this one pays ten dollars for each tick now looking at the money here should be 99 there's the arrow once it cleared here i was getting sell signals from here bit did a bit of a pullback and then carried on in the direction of my daily trade plan could have made about um 200 but i was happy at this point with Another one that's going to be a little bit difficult. Let me see. 99. Whoops. 99. Let's see. Well, it's not going to go right on. So 98 or it's actually 99 times the $10 times the 10 lots paid out $9,900. Moving on to the last trade, the NASDAQ. Now this one pays $20 for each tick. Could have made uh, more than double, but I was happy at this point when I closed out all the trades. So I took the money and divided it by 20. You can pretty much almost do it in your head. It's going to be around 50. Uh, I believe it's 51. So 
could have ended up with 150 something so it would have been three times more there it is right there you remove the last two digits so it's 51 times the $20 times the 10 lots paid out $10,300 so another great day of trading I added up all the uh, pips and ticks they were mostly all ticks and I knew it was going to be over 300 and it is the grand total was 474 pips and ticks and all of those ticks ended up paying out $38,620. So if your system is not producing on a daily basis like my Pro Trader system, I recommend you get your hands on it and don't forget about the daily trade plan. All you got to do is look right below this video and you'll see four packages that I recommend uh, you get your hands on. Now here are two of them. Each, each one I do charge $250. This is the Pro Trader system. There's a lot of training videos in here along with a lot of education. And of course each video is uh, about 30 minutes long each. And this is my expert advisor producing for the daily trade plan. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, Traders who do, do not have any kind of a trade, daily trade plan, those traders definitely will fail at trading. So let's say if you buy any two, so let's say you bought these two right here, you can pick one of the other two for free. You can either take the easy trader system with the super signal indicator. This one has three videos. Uh, covering uh, all three sessions uh, focusing just on the super signal indicator and how to trade it and of course um, this other one here has a lot of um, training videos 20 of them between 20 and 30 minutes long each how I trade live advanced trading tips there's over two gigabytes so the bulk of the training videos are in this one which you can take for free or you can take this one here for free and the other training videos as I mentioned earlier is in the pro trader system now you can put the video on pause at any point and read everything because I'm not going to read everything uh, to you check out everything here all the different ways to trade if you have any questions at all, simple, pick up the phone and call me. Here is my number. And if you live too far, well, it's okay. Just send me an email. Remember, there's an underscore right here. I really do prefer Skype. Made it easy for you. All you got to do is click on this link. And we will have Skype connection. Whereas I'll give you um, a free session using uh, Skype screen sharing. I'll answer your questions. Give you some tips and tricks uh, remember I do all of that with no obligation to you so it's time to wrap up this video and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so until the next trading day and video should be tomorrow as long as there's no distractions between now and then I want to wish you good luck with your trading and remember to keep yourself and your family safe okay Bye for now.